Hey everybody, um, I'm out today, but I wanted to leave you just a little um, demonstration of some of the materials that you can use for your rain collection system. Um, hopefully you just watched that video and learned a little bit about like how a rain gutter is put on a house. Of course, we're gonna be using a little bit different materials, but still the concept is, is similar. So I wanna start by showing you this house. The house here um, was made by Miss Destiny and it's awesome. She cut off the bottom part of the box and was able to build the roof using those pieces so when you have uh you can see that these are the pieces from the bottom because your house will need to have an overhang so the water can go into your rain gutters and your roof needs to be waterproof material as well as your rain gutters so a couple waterproof materials we have cling wrap we have um plastic wrap we have Tin foil. there's other things that we can use, packing tape, um, glue, whatever you need to do. There's also some rain gutter materials that you can use that are waterproof, such as a pipe insulator that you can put here, or there's these little things that came with the Vex IQ. We can always cut these in a certain way and affix them to the box. The other one I like is a uh, chipboard, and the chipboard we use a cutter scorer, which is this tool right here to score and fold, which you can also affix to the to the side of the roof. Now remember, when you do bring that together, we'll talk about it more um, later, but you, you, wanna, you wanna make sure that your rain gutter is hooked to the house and not the roof. Now on the other side of this house, it's hooked to the roof, but there's, there's several mistakes with that, that rain gutter. And I want you guys to look at that and kind of Think about it and have a conversation. What What is the problem with the rain gutter on the other side of this house that's made out of cups? Um, would it hold water? Would the water be able to go down to the to the straw and, and flow down easily? Yes, no, why not? Give some answers, have that discussion. But I do wanna talk about something important from the video, which was called pitch, which all that means is the angle of the rain gutter. So I'm gonna use this blue line just for reference, but if it was level, you would see the rain gutter like that. Now, pitch means you're going to drop at a little bit of an angle, so the water will run down. Gravity will, will make the water run down, so there's a slight pitch. And so you're going to want to start at the end um, and have a slight pitch to where it goes to the other end, and then it comes down with a, a, a tube. Um, here's a picture, uh, or here's a, dim, here's a model of something that you can put on the end that would catch the water. So if you're using toilet paper rolls, which is another option, right? You could use toilet paper rolls. You have your pitch. It's coming down to the end. You want to make sure that this tube is underneath and, and flush on top so the water doesn't have to go above something and go in. You might, you're going to see that with the straw on the other side. The water would have to pull over the top of that straw to go down. So this one, we took a water bottle cap. Um, and some tubing, we put a bunch of hot glue in there. So that's, those are some materials you might wanna use. The other materials I want you to think about today are, um, what are you gonna use to affix your rain gutter to your house? You know, we definitely have hole punches, we have glue sticks, we have tape, we have all that kind of stuff. Um, you might wanna think about using brads, which you can see that Miss Destiny did. Um, this is a good one. These are always good to bring things together, which are uh, zip ties. You can use paper clips or clips. You can even use strings. So that's up to you and what, you, what you're what you going to put in your design. Today, I want you to make sure that you have your design completed and your materials list completed. If you finish that early, you may go get a box on the sixth grade shelf that has yellow tape on it with no names. Um, you can work in, with a partner on this project or you can work by yourself. You can start collecting your materials with just the small stuff. Like you don't need to collect your tin foil. I'll have that out. You don't need to collect glue, tape, scissors. That stuff will be out. But if you want to start collecting things that for your rain gutters and start collecting things for your what you're going to use to connect things, you can put those into your boxes today. Um, if your design is done by next Monday, then we will go into the uh, create process and start building your prototype. Hopefully, that's the goal, and you'll get there, and I will see you next week.